Hello everybody and welcome once again to Beyond Galactic Science. At the end of the last episode we'd set up the sieving and part of the mine, um, galactic science. Today we're going to go and do the mine camp side of it. The sieving bit's working quite nicely. You can see behind me there are some uh, items which are getting slowly increased like iron. That's now 23 from zero as it was before. And so this time we're going to go and do my mine camp. So let's get on with it. So I think I've got everything I need. Probably not. So we'll quickly whip over to where we're doing this. It's, I'm going to do it in the same place as I'm doing the sieving. Like this. If I can get down the hole, which is always difficult. Here I've set up already a little bit of uh, cobble gem. So on this cobble gem, we're going to put a, a net transfer node like that and in the transfer node we're going to put a world interaction upgrade which will start generating cobble on top of this i'm now going to take the java barrel uh, the dolly here and put this cobblestone on top of it like this oops i meant to right click that never mind we'll put it on there so we, like that and you'll see that's slowly increasing now so what we're now going to do is we'll take this out of the way and we're going to take some relocators from refined relocation I'm going to put those around here like this I'm going to bring it across a little bit like this and on the end of that we're going to put this barrel but first we before we do that we want we have to set up the recipes you can't it doesn't remember the recipes between different things so what we'll do is you can see, here you've got a slot and then you have a, a big one and here you have some more slots so we can put into here some crafting modules so we'll do it like this get them keep them close together and then you can right click one of these and it opens up the interface so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get cobblestone in here like this in fact i have to left click this into place for it to generate the rule and that's going to generate compressed cobblestone the next one i'm going to take here and i'm going to generate uh, take compressed cobblestone put that into there and that's going to produce double compressed cobblestone like that and the third one we're going to take the double compressed cobblestone like this if I can remember to do it right and put that in and that should generate triple compressed cobblestone like that oh no I must have got the wrong one huh I have let's just do it from this one I think this will work there we go so we now got triple compressed cobblestone so all we need to do now is to activate this so we'll put on here the extraction module and it starts to extract cobblestone out as you can see that's then going to come into here and start to get double compressed uh, compressed cobblestone and as that gets through that then empties that out and it goes into the next module which i think is this one and slowly filling up to double compressed cobblestone like that and of course you can always if you've got some compressed cobblestone here you can actually force it in i think you can go to this one here and force it into that one or maybe not i'll find a way to put that in back in in a minute and then the third one here we get some triple compressed cobblestone can i put those in here no i can't no i can't put those in so then we're going to take this barrel here take the dolly again pick up the barrel and put it at the end here so now as these are getting increase so we've now got 50 89 stacks plus 50 in a few seconds we should get a 51 coming in here so let's have a look at that it'll take a few more seconds so while that's doing that let's get on with the next bit out of here we're going to take the triple compressed cobblestone and we're going to put it into one of these so this like this so for example let's give this some power first of all and at the bottom here I've got opened a roundel up. In fact, I'm also going to put onto this roundel a chunk loader to make sure that this chunk is maintained and is kept loaded. Like that. And I don't think I need any item drugs in here yet. So what we need to do is to give to some cable. Let's put some power energy conduit on here like this. And shift right click that in there. Now that should start to get power. As you can see, it's now powered and the power is going up reasonably quickly. And what we can then do is we can then take, for example, this 
doubly compressed cobblestone and put it into here and that's then going to generate material so you can do the same with this one as well like that so now we've got seven different metals so we've got iron oxygen lead silicon sodium chlorine magnesium and titanium so really the ones which are interesting for us are probably iron because we always need iron and titanium the other ones are less are less useful i think silicon isn't we need silicon later on and lead and oxygen lead and we're probably going to throw those away so what we're going to do with those now is we're going to set up some barrels and feed those out of there and put them into some jabba barrels have i got any with me i don't know what i have actually let's have a quick look so I've got four. It's not enough, is it? I've got any more in here? No, I haven't. But we can do this anyway. I'll put some more later on. So what my thinking is, well let's put it let's put them say down here. Actually I want sorting barrels. I shall go and get those quickly. I'll take the sorting chest here and we'll put this out like that, I think. And then we can feed the output from here to here, I hope. So let's try that first of all. So let's take the item conduit and let's put one up here for example and it's going to connect to that and I think that can, I think it goes out the side I'm not 100% sure some do some don't so now let's set this one up so we want this one to be in extract mode always active and this one needs to then be an insert so simply right click that no so this is now starting to work as you can see so we'll look at this and you see you've already got 54 blocks coming in there and then that's going to be then f that's going to fill up this basically so then what we need to do is to extract those out of there which will be like this so i'll we'll set that to always, always active and then we're going to put them into here like this try again and then they should be coming into this sorting barrel here which they are so that's working as i wanted it to do then the next thing we need to do is to can get those sorting barrels. Let's go and do that first of all. The quick way. I've got a load of them prepared actually. It's jabber barrels, jabber barrels, but the sorting ones should be in this chest here. Yes, they are. Look, sorting barrels, 64. More than enough. We need about five. So we'll take those with us. Well, we also need to make some more machines to prepare to process this because with mine chem what you can't do is to have each chemical composer or the opposite from the decomposer basically what it does let's put these down how many do we need i think we need eight different types i'll put eight barrels down So then we'll come in here and we'll take out the the items from here. So we've got iron, oxygen, lead, silicon, sodium. Let's put those in there first of all. And you'll see that as soon as you put it down, it increases. In fact, there's no reason why I can't do it like this. What else have we got in here? Chlorine, manganese, titanium, and I think that's uh, maybe oxygen. Oh, oxygen is there already, so we need to do that one. And that should be the lot. Now you'll notice that some of these don't disappear out of here. If you sort the chest, then they do. It's sort of like some strange feature of this. So these will now start to increase. So what we're now going to do... I'm just actually thinking I might need to do, move these up a bit. Let's do that first of all because we want to extract some of these and we want to throw away the other stuff so let's put the ones we're interested in like this let's move this chest up here as well and then i'll just put another piece of conduit on there like that what i could do on here is to have a hopper output and then it would hopper the things down into a machine below it so maybe that's what we'll do next. So before we do that, let's just, I've got it here ready. So let's put that into there and then change this around like that. And then everything should start to process again. Let's have a quick look. I can't open that chest, of course. 
I have to break this one up a bit. Well, there should be nothing ever in there, so it doesn't really matter about that. Let's have a look what else we've got in here now. This is actually sort of full. Are they not getting extracted out of here? Maybe we have to check this one again. Seems to be okay. Let's double check that again. So always active extract. That's correct. And then that should be coming into here. Let's have a look at this thing again. Let's just put this into the chest and make sure it works. It's gone. Yes. So I think that will automatically extract into here. It might be actually simply working faster, that's all. Let's have a look at what we've got in anything increasing in here. Yes, there I just saw titanium go up from six to ten. So that is working. It's just a little bit slow. I don't I might need to put speed upgrade in here, but I don't think we do. Because once this is all been used up, these these chests will be completely full. So the next thing, let's go and get some hopper hopper up um, hopper upgrades for this. Okay. Let's go outside. I've got that. Actually, I haven't got any of that prepared, so we'll do that quickly. I'll do one, and then I'll come back, and when I've done all of the the other ones. So let's look up what we've got for Jabba. So we basically want some hopper facades, and we want the hopper upgrade here. So that's that one, and I think this one. Oh, it's a slot used one. But what we'll also do, we'll increase the slot. So we'll do a, a standard like this, we'll make some of these, we'll make some level twos and we'll put those like that, we'll make some, where's it gone to, the hopper one, which is a hopper between two pistons, there's quite a lot of iron in this, but that's no big deal, let's get on with the job, so, bunch of stacks of iron, 262, and this, this is still working very well actually, when I finished last time, 158, and I haven't done much between the two episodes, in fact, well, let's, yeah, I need the cobblestone. So, some pistons. I'll just actually check what pistons we've got in here. I usually keep a few around it anyway, but I might have moved those to the other side into the TARDIS now. The other one you can use is aluminium. In fact, that's actually quite useful to see because here I've got some aluminium ingots here, 12 stacks of those, but I've also got in here 54 stacks of aluminium. So, if I take two out of here for example and then put those two stacks into here that increases these and they become the pink ones as it were because there's two different types one's ex nalo and the other's uh, mine came i think i got three sets of this this is ex nalo aluminium and this is actually in the early games the cheapest way of making pistons i don't need to worry about that now but 32 that will be fine let's make some pistons so we need redstone iron cobblestone and some planks oops of course I've not got uh, Tinker's Construct so I can't do that let's just make some planks for the door too many of course let's put these into here 64 will be fine I think let's try again so planks oh, actually I that will make it'll only make 21 won't it anyway, well, let's get some more out of here then another half a stack of that I think Yes, that'll make 32. We get 32 pistons. So we then make the hoppers. In fact, I'll need to make some more hoppers. Let's make some more chests. some more hoppers and then we can make those hoppers into hopper we'll only do 12 we'll do half of those actually seven will be fine so now we have seven hopper upgrades and then we need some facades that's that one and that makes about four, I think. So we need some more planks for that, do we? 
Still more planks, goodness. Now we've got 32, that'll be enough. I think this makes about four actually, so let's just have a look. Yes, it does. So two of those will be fine. I'm going to press escape, it'll pick it through there. Thing up, so we've got hoppers. Now we need some upgrades. Make six of those, it'll be enough. And these, we've got no more irons, got another stack of iron. We go through it very fast. Well, that got a long way, didn't it? Like this. We'll also need some storage upgrades as well. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, but I can leave that for later on. Like that. So, let's go back now. There is another doorway, but there's no doorways on the ground floor there, so that's like this. So let's take the upgrades first of all. Take number one and put these six upgrades into there. There's actually seven now, so I have miscalculated, never mind. Put it on there. Let's click to one. I have to shift, don't I? That's the other thing. Oh, they're actually eight. So what we'll now do is put the hopper upgrades in these. We need some another hopper upgrade as well. Like that. So I missed one of those. The last one. I know, no, I haven't. I just haven't got enough upgrade slots in the first one. That's very bad. Never mind. But we have got enough hopper facades. So basically what we want to do is put the hopper facades at the bottom of these, like like this. And you see that that becomes like that. And then they'll basically output things on the bottom. I don't think I can put it on these two until they've got the hopper upgrade in them. So what we now do... Let's move these out of the way a bit. In fact, my inventory, of course, is full. Sort that out. In fact, I wish I could get rid of this. Actually, I can get rid of the cobble. That's no big deal. Just simply right-click this. Now, you'll see the hobble's al cobble's already empty. And it's put those 64 that I had on me. It's already gone. So the next thing we need to do is to make a chemical decomposer. So I think I'm going to go back to the building area to do that. Let's have a look at what we have to do for the chemical composer, sorry, wrong one. So let's look for mine chem. Chemical synthesizer. So we need some of these atomic manipulators, which is a block of iron surrounded by pistons. Okay. So we need a block of iron. We can get a block of I'll just take the whole lot of this, I think. So we're going to need a few of these machines. So I'll make a few blocks of iron. Like that. Actually, I'm going to make two to start with, because I want the other iron to finish off that other thing. So let's put these out of here. And then we want to do the upgrades. I think they were on the corners. I'm not 100% sure. We only need two anyway, so... No, wrong way around. I think it's this way. Yes, there we go. There are other two upgrades. And we need another hopper upgrade as well. Well, we can do that later on. So now, we've got two blocks of iron. And we need it surrounded by pistons. We can make two of those. Fantastic. Now we need a diamond and some redstone and some more iron. How much iron have we got in here? We need another iron, don't we? Have we got another one in here yet? Yes, we have. Perfect. So, what did I want from that? I wanted some redstone, didn't I? Let's do it like this. Don't need the blocks in there. And we needed diamonds, and my inventory is already full. Let's put some stuff away. I don't need the obsidian and the wood. 
do need the iron. I probably will need the pistons later on, and I'll keep the hoppers over there. In fact, I could actually make the other hopper upgrade, couldn't I? And we can finish off that bit. So, right, chemical synthesizers. So diamonds, we need two diamonds for the, what we've got at the moment. And there we are. That's what we need for that. Now, so the idea is these down so let's put down the iron first of all like that I'm going to have to run some cable of course power energy cable down here or energy conduit like that and I'm going to keep it running this all the way across the bottom to the end so any machines we put on the top here will be picked up so now these should start to get iron in they are fantastic look at that so the other one we're going to do is Titanium here yeah, for to start with anyway. Um, yes. And the others I might just simply throw the stuff away. So we need to upgrade this with the hopper and the upgrade. So let's do that first of all. Oh, I didn't put the hopper facade, and I should have done that first. Because without the hopper facade, it's difficult to put it on, I think, because it's taking up the four blocks. Let's just quickly remove this. Maybe I can use the Yetter wrench. No, let's bash it on. So here's our hopper facades. I'll move that out of the way like that for the time being. I'll put those on here like this. And then everything will come out. So now I can put the chemical synthesizer at the bottom here. And this should also start to fill up with titanium. As you can see, the numbers are going down. And this is filling up. So when we got 16, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the recipe is in the top left-hand corner, as it is. And that then produces a titanium ingot. And now when you can take those titanium ingots out, we take it out the bottom. So what I do need here is now another item so we will put an item duct conduit on here as well, I think. Interface. We could do it in the same slot. Here we got it. Like that. And we can put it into here like this. So then you get the three. So now we need some item conduit coming out of here. So let's take the items out of here. Don't really want those connecting up like that, but we'll soon sort that out. Take the other wrench here and I just simply right click this, I think. Yes. So that's then configured correctly. So if I shift left click this now, I should be able to see the interface. So I want the open roundel. So I want to insert into the open roundel, I think. And I want to extract from here. So let's shift left click that again. Always active. Is the titanium ingot coming out of it? It's going up and down. I'm not exactly sure what's happening. Let's have a look in the iron one. We can do the same for the iron, of course. We get iron ingots being produced. that's going up until it gets extracted we won't see them coming out so I'm just wondering if there's a better way to demonstrate this I think we'll just turn it on and see what happens uh, titanium ingots let's take the titanium ingot out of here first of all oh, no, it's going out let's tell you what we'll do we'll turn off this one and then take the titanium ingots it should be coming into here like this so we should get some titanium ingots being produced. 
there we go and it only does one so it fills up so we're now going to take this titanium ingot over here and we're going to make sure we've got a place for it so for example here might be a good place like that now if, if everything's working correctly the titanium ingots should be stored in one of these chests maybe this one here there we go it is actually stored in there so sort that oh just it was already sorted so now we should have 24 in here so let's go back again and set up the two iron and the other one so now I simply shift left click on this again and let auto extract this always active do the same over here for iron Was active and now if you look at this here right empty hand you'll see that these are going down very fast as the ingots are getting extracted out of there and as soon as these 13 are we get some more in from the processes here we should in fact that's gone completely out that was a bad move let's take the iron out of here because I've got to then take shift right click this as well so if I put that in there and shift right click that stays then locked and I need to lock all of these up actually let's do the same for the titanium as well so that they don't come out we can always move them around using the the jabber barrel um dolly anyway so that's fine so that's it it's working between episodes I'm going to do stuff with oxygen what I'll do with this is I won't I'll probably remove the um the hopper and get a void up, upgrade on that we don't need that much oxygen at the moment lead we can certainly use um let's have a look at what we've got in the lead one take take a look at this and what we can actually use this for we can you see you can use ingots and we can make fusion walls as well a leaded chest which is very useful at the beginning of the game and you can make different types of lead here for different ones but depending on where you Put the the lead ingot so you can get crushed lead from nuclear craft and they get uh, ingots from next silo and then you can make some soul sand with actually oxygen silicon which you're getting from this as well and beryllium is something special i think beryllium is probably best made in the fusion reactor i don't think it's got any other 44 what else could you decompose to get beryllium netherrack soul sand yeah and that's basically how you find that out so I think that's probably about it but what we can do however is to speed this process up let's do that first because that has something as I'm not shown let's put the lead back as well um, quickly go back we need to make some more world upgrades this one so it's just some lapis and some iron so what do we have there? see now we've got 63 iron already so let's take some of those all 63 in fact it's a bit of a bug there it didn't dis decrease the amount there so that's that one and some wood just take some wood which you've got plenty of oak I've probably got some of the chests anyway so I'll make a couple of um, I think we'll make about four I could make eight I think we'll make four upgrades and see how that affects the performance of the thing so there we go now we've got everything we need just click that and there so we should be able to it's one at a time of course because um, iron axes don't stack these do there we go so let's go back again
So to make this go faster, you simply put in more upgrades. And you'll see this is now says five. So it's actually generating five per operation, and presumably per tick. So these will then start to produce this faster. If I put 64 in there, which I probably could do, it then generate a stack at a time, which should be make this come fairly quickly out. So at the moment we've got, they're getting full on some of these. The oxygen, for instance, has already reached 71. So to deal with that, you basically put a void upgrade on it. So I'm going to say goodbye. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Interesting. Next time I've been playing around with another um, fish farm from AFK fish farm from uh, Panda, but it doesn't work in 1.7.10, that particular one. 1.7.10 modded. So there we are. So until next time, bye for now.